Hello to all my friends out there. This video is prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. So now if you're prepared for the worst and nothing bad happens, that's okay. You can just eat that extra food up and save your money. So today I want to make two soups that are really cheap that could get you by if times get hard. Okay, I bought this uh, beef broth, but this could be um, a top ramen. This could be um, some uh, broth, chicken broth, any kind of broth. Uh, the desirable thing is to save your bones and make your own broth. That's what you want to do. Okay, so now I want to bring this to a boil. In the meantime, I'm going to make another soup. I'm going to make two at one time. Okay, so now the next one I want to make is I discovered these chili beans with no beans, and they're cheaper than chili with beans. So, you know, if you go to a food bank, if you go to a food pantry, a lot of times they will give you beans, and if you have this, you can make a nice big batch of chili. Or you can make this soup and save your beans. That's a good idea. Okay, so now um, what I want to add to this is some of this cheese dip. I made this before, and um, it was really good. Now, today I'm not eating any carbs. So if, if you weren't eating this, what you could do is you could, uh, I mean, and you weren't on a low-carb diet, uh, what I'm trying to do on my low-carb diet is keep all of my, uh, all of my meals as close to meals that I like eating, just no carbs, no sugar. So in this one, all I have so far is this, you can also put this on hot dogs. You can eat this if you have cheese. I'm going to be stockpiling this and save your jar. Um, you can eat this with tortilla chips. So if you have uh, tortillas, uh, you know, um, if you have, um, you know, corn tortillas, you can uh, make chips. And uh, this is good. I believe this or not, this makes a good soup. And so these soups are going to get me through my diet day. You can eat this with bread, with um, cornbread, uh, you know, anything you would eat with chili. And uh, the thing about this, you know, well, that's lowly. Yeah, that's true. But remember, we're pre preparing for the worst. <laughs> Let's hope. Uh, now, I am a cheap person. It, also, I am a stable person, you know. And so for the rest of the year, I want to be very, very cheap because we don't know exactly what is going to happen. So if we're very, very cheap, uh, hopefully, nothing's going to happen. That's the, the goal. I mean, not just being cheap, senselessly stupid cheap, but, um, you know, now if you added macaroni to this, this would be a good chili mac, too. I did that, and it was good. Okay, now back over here. Okay, so no, 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 no. So now, so far all we have is this, I got this stuff marked down, but if you don't have that, just use bouillon cubes, or better yet, make your own beef broth. So um, I bought these vegetables, and so vegetables and beef, especially uh, broccoli, is good. So I have a little left, so I'm not just pouring it in, I'm putting that back in the freezer to be you know, saving for a rainy day. Uh, one of the followers made a really good comment, and it's and it was a little extra food or a little extra money is really going to help you out. I agree totally. 
Okay, so now I want to turn this up and I want to get it to uh, boiling. So now, I have a lot of new followers, you guys. So if you're an old follower, be patient. And uh, write this stuff in your notebook. So I have one egg. This is going to give you a nutritious meal. And this also is good leftover. So we're going to have about, uh, let's see if I can show you, about one tablespoon water. So now, both of these uh, soup recipes are really, really cheap. Remember all my life I beat up hair color, no lumps in the hair color. Get your, get your um, egg beat up good. Now, 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 what? Now we need to grate some cheese. So there's broth, there's vegetables. Oh, by the way, they, they're saying vegetables are going up. I go, what? Okay, let's just say it this way. Food is going up. Yes. The cost of living will go up and probably a lot worse before it gets better. Okay, if all people are getting is like money for rent and food, you can bet they want to take that bite out of, of your life as much as they possibly can. Whoa, whoa, now that is an awful thing to say. Yeah, I know. When, uh, uh, some of the stuff I'm going to say in this video you guys might not like, but it might actually come back and uh, save your bacon. I hope not. I hope we're preparing for the worst and the best years are yet to come. They probably are for people with money and resources, so I have a little piece of cheese. Um, this is Walmart cheese. I find the Walmart cheese to be good. So I'm not, even though I could grate up all of my cheese, I'm saving this little bite because I don't really need it. That's why. Okay, now back over here. My phone, I have to be careful. My phone is actually plugged into the uh, wall so bad things can happen. All right, so now let me show you this. You guys, this is cheap. Okay, the... The cheese whiz, this whole thing was $2.99. Uh, and I have used this at least six times. And these are $1.12. So you're getting all this, this soup for less than $2. And for one person, this will keep you going for at least two days if this was all you ate. And then if you uh, stockpile some bologna, that would be really, really good. Okay, I posted a good biscuit. I'm always looking for this. A good biscuit video on my Twitter for you. Or go straight to this channel. Biscuits plus yeast rolls, angel biscuits, oh my God, divas canned cook. Okay, this is a very prominent channel. Not like me. Did I tell you guys I was demoted to a uh, C-plus rating? Yes. YouTube has demoted me. They have taken my subscribers. They have demoted me from a B-plus, and it was harder than hell, you guys, to get that B-plus rating. So anyway, that's what you get for talking about the you-know-what. So if you have a channel and you don't want to lose your money, don't talk about stuff they don't want you talking about. Because if you do, you're going to be sorry. Um, if I kept one person from going in a crowd or doing something stupid, uh, I, I think it was worth it. But yes, they did punish me. As soon as this boils now, I will add the egg and one tablespoon of water. Okay, so now we're preparing 
we're preparing for the worst, but we're hoping for the best. Find meals that you can prepare on a hot plate, camp stove, barbecue, you know, God knows. You know, what if the electricity goes out? You know, what if we're hit by some attack? Okay, so now I want to pour my egg in there. So this is going to give me some good protein in my soup. Eggs are about 20 cents each. The beef broth was, that was about 50 cents, but it could be a top ramen. See how this looks really good? And then I want to cook it for a minute to cook that egg. So, fine meals you can prepare on a hot plate, even a microwave. This could be done in a microwave, both of these. Now, well, what are we preparing for? Violence. Could that happen? Oh, yeah, that could happen. Go to La Mesa, California protests. Floods. Could that happen? Yes, that could happen. Fire out here, yes, that could and does happen. In fact, we've had quite a few going as we speak. And attacks, we could be attacked, just like Beirut. Like that was a supposed accident. I wouldn't doubt it was an accident, but I also wouldn't doubt it was an attack. And then know where you're going to go if you need to evacuate. Don't say, oh, I'll get out of here. Really? Well, uh, where are you going to go? You know, make sure you know you don't have some kind of clue. And then um, I just want to add a little cheese. I learned this from one of the followers, Henzo. Thank you, Henzo. He's left a lot of good ones. Well, all the followers are. Even if you're just nice and, and um, encouraging that is helpful. So I'm going to turn this down and let it, you know, it's pretty much done. Okay, no. No, 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 no. Here's my picture that I dumpster dived. I didn't actually dump, dive in the dumpster. I just, it was to the side and I took it. So I hope everyone is doing okay. I hope everyone is being careful. The, the pandemic is not over. Not even. I mean, they've told us, prepare for a second wave. So prepare for a second wave. So one of the things I did to be cheap is I, I, um, I stockpiled the Sam's Club Walmart Cola caffeine free. And this is 74 cents. I think Diet Coke is about a dollar, a dollar sixty something now, and I made some of this caffeine free. I gotta get some more of this. This stuff is really, really good. Uh, tea, stockpile tea or coffee so that you will have some uh, beverage besides water. So if you need to evacuate, know where you're going to go. Know that. Floods generally run north to south. So if, uh, if there's a flood, don't evacuate north. Don't evacuate west if, if the floods from the north might hit, you know, west of you. Um, go to better areas. They're usually safer. Sounds bad to say, but it's true. Know all the highways. I mean... Like, a lot of times they'll close the highways down. That doesn't mean all the ways to where you're going are closed down. Be careful during the cold. You know, my son took an innocent trip to Las Vegas and got caught in a blizzard. Fortunately, he had a great big truck, and, you know, it took 24 hours from San Diego to Las Vegas. We learned that one the hard way. Um... Donate now in case you know the violence comes and people start getting hungry. You don't want someone following you home. Okay, no, this is about times are getting very crappy, very crappy, like no food and stuff. And decide in your mind before 
am I going to let people in my house? So, now, is this person trustworthy? Has this person been trustworthy in the past? I mean, I don't mean leave them to starve, but don't let them in the house if they're untrustworthy. You'll know, you know, the types that are untrustworthy. Okay, there was a farmer, and uh, the river was rising, and a snake approached him and said, please let me in your boat. Please give me safe passage across this raging river. If you don't, I will will uh, drown. And the farmer said, well, well, yeah, but you're a snake, you'll bite me. And he said, no, 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 I won't, I won't, I won't. Save my life, save my life. I, I will surely die if you don't help me. So they got into the boat and they were no more out in the water than the snake bit him. And the farmer says, I can't believe you did that. I saved your life. And the, sm the snake was smarty and he said, well, you know, I am a snake. Don't ever forget that story. Teach that story to your kids. <laughs> okay, now, 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 now. Okay, I was in uh, self-help groups for many years, and that involved trying to help other people who needed help, right? Oops, my sponge had a lot of water. There was this woman, and her daughter was in very, very bad shape on the street. And so a policeman approached her and said, well, don't you have a family? And she said, yes, but I don't know their, um, their um, address or anything. And so the police told her, if you give us a name, we can find your mother. So they found her mother. I mean, really, you know, the police aren't going to help you find your mother unless you are in really bad shape, right? Lots of people are on the streets. So I added lime and hot sauce. So, okay, she was reunited with her mother. That did not last. She didn't want to stay sober. She ended up in Las Vegas and walked head on into traffic and was hit by a car. She did not die, but she was hurt really bad. And the mother fell headlong forward and hit her head. Last I saw her, she has a caregiver. So I would say to myself, would I let either one of these two in my house? No. Okay. Now, remember the story about the guy? This guy I knew, he ended up on the street prior to that. He had been living a few years with this guy in the garage, but he got out of control and he ended back up on the street and I was trying to talk to him and, may, and I said, maybe so-and-so will let you use his shed. So you would have to say, would you let this person in your house? No, the guy who was starving and finally, he ended up getting a sandwich in the park that really set him straight. And I said, don't you have any family? And he said, well, yeah, I have a daughter. I go, well, can't you stand with, can't you stay with her? And he said, well, she can't afford to feed me. Now, mind you, I had done everything I could to get this guy to go to the food bank, you know, to seek help. And he wouldn't do anything. Now, if you're even looking in the direction of running out of food, go to the food banks, go to the pantries, go to the churches, and go to the schools now and load your house down with food. If they give you um, more than you can eat, I, I try to get one guy to go to that food pantry and he goes, I don't have anywhere to keep it. And I thought, why don't you just get food for one day? You know, and put it in your backpack or get the non-perishable food. 
So back to the guy whose daughter didn't have enough food to feed him. Okay, you can get food stamps if you don't have a home and you don't have any food. You have to have an ID, though. So he made really no effort. He was probably lying. He probably had food stamps. But nonetheless, if the only resource you have is food, that might be enough to let somebody let you sleep in their garage if you share their food, your food or let you, um, you know, maybe stay in a bedroom or something or even a camper shell or even a car. But if you do nothing, it's going to be so much worse for you. Okay, so now, that was, a guy, um, that was a guy who was starving until he found help in the trunk. I mean, in the park. So, um, make sure you do whatever you have to do to secure your sustenance. Now, if things are looking very bad, Apply for that Section 8. If you don't know how to do it, you're going to call 211. You're going to go to the Welfare Department. You can't go to the library anymore and use the computers, but you could go to Starbucks, I think. Uh, out here, it's really weird. Um, now some of the beauty shops and barber shops are working outside. I don't know how long that's going to be lasting. But make sure you have a roof over your head and make sure you have food in your house and now. Don't say, oh, well, you know, if anything happens, I can just go and I can get welfare, you know, later. You don't know what's going to happen. None of us do. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.